What's up everybody, this is Brian Kelly and we're back with another video and today we are sitting here with Alex the cat drinking a cup of coffee and today we're talking about how to make your camera work better, stabilized and more cinematic if you would. Alright, let's get into it. I think the first thing we have to talk about is the camera strap. Very simple, but the way I like to do it is in this video here. I'll show you guys how to do it. Stop. And uh, so it's basically just the third point of contact because on any camera, if you want stable movement, I usually th use three points. So one, two, and then this would be my third. You know, you'd hold it against your neck tight or around your arm tight and pull it, you know? You know? And that'll, that'll make it not perfect, but it'll make it real better. If you want perfect, not like super smooth, but not like shaky, I would recommend getting one of these. This is the S, this is the Elangu S60T, if I'm not mistaken. It is a simple camera stabilizer, and it's down in the description if you want to pick one up. It's a sweet little piece of equipment, and I've already done a video about it, and it's it's good. I've had this for a few months, and I use it quite regularly, and it's still holding up very well, so highly recommended. to say is a tripod like everybody thinks but a thing about a tripod is that um, when you're using a tripod you don't want to leave your frame stagnant like right now this is just my frame you know like from here to here it's just a stagnant frame if you just keep it on that like that and that's your whole video it's gonna get boring you need to change you know location change backgrounds change foregrounds everything so and another thing, let's see, I got these all written down. Angles. Angles are different too, because, so, let's say if we're speaking like this, it makes me feel more contact. But, say, if I'm down here, and you guys are talking to me, and this is a weird angle. You don't want this. Or, let's say, if I'm sitting over here, and this is your angle, I mean, in some situations, you would want an interview-style angle like this. This would work. I like this angle, actually. <laughs> But, uh, you know, you don't want it up, you don't want it to the side, or you don't want it like this. Talking to me like this, this would be a weird angle, coming, kind of speaking down to you, you don't want that. It's a little odd. Alright, and then another thing to stabilize your footage is in post. It's called Warp Stabilizer. It works very well. It's a little touchy at times, and it doesn't make it perfect, but it will stabilize your video. So, now we're going to talk about another way to make it on. So we got what? Camera strap, stabilizer for stabilizing your video, and tripod. And let's also talk about being creative. Creativity in your shots is all of it. You can shoot a whole movie freehand as long as you're creative and it's not too crazy shaky. But if, if it's boring and it's the same angle or... The camera is completely still on a tripod. It's kind of boring and there's no music. Music makes your video. 
the audio makes the video. Everybody says it. All right. Let's see. Okay. And then the difference in free handling and stabilizing. I've done this kind of thing once before in my Elangu 60 ST review video. Now you can use these both for two different things. I'd say the freehand one is good in horror and action. The stabilize is good with telling a story or following kind of like a ghost because that's what it kind of feels like, you know, smooth, round edges, you know, kind of quick turns, you know, and stuff like that. Um, something else I have to talk about is how important gaff, uh, like gaffer tape is and stuff like that and um, what you can do with this stuff, like... I've seen people use it to tape GoPros to dashboards since they didn't have a suction mount or they taped their GoPro to the wall or they taped, you know, their camera up or it helps you setting up with things like, let's talk about what I got going on back here. Here, you can see, I have an LED light back there, softened by the sheet held up by duct clamps. And a tripod holding up with another duct clamp on this side. So, this was just kind of my way to soften the light, make it look better. You know, I look really nice and lit. I'm out of focus. So, this is just my way to what I call guerrilla style filmmaking. You know, I kind of just jump into it and try it. And I do this on a lot of my shoots and stuff like that. And I'm really starting to get into it more cinematically. First it was just, you know, let's post funny videos and now it's like, let's get all these crazy ones, you know, all these crazy shots and microphones and cameras and tripods and lights and all this cool stuff. But I have to say the most important part about being a cameraman or doing anything with cameras, photography, videography, cinematography, any of that, any of that. Like even if you're just an audio guy is just be creative. Be, being creative is what makes us unique. You know, I know there's people that are better than me. But I know there's people that are worse than I am, and that's why I want to help. You know, even though everybody's doing these videos and stuff like that. But it's just the creative part. You know, anybody can do it. You know, like me doing this sheet and stuff like that. I just came up with this. I was like, I'm going to do it today. Like, okay, let's do it. But being creative is the number one priority to do when you're being a filmmaker and stuff like that. Even in cinematography and stuff like that, if you watch some of the director's cuts and some of the, the like the producing team does and stuff like that, like they, they will even tell you like, oh, well, we couldn't get moving audio on this person because of this and that. And so we had to strap microphones to the door, you know, when they open up the door, you can hear the door creak and you can hear them talk and walk in. Just stuff like that really makes the video. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got to say about this. If you guys like this, subscribe, share, and like it. I said that twice, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.